Hey, it's Siki, and we are back with episode 88 of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. Uh, in between episodes, I was uh, running around making solar panels. Got us another uh, tier 4 one, and I figure I want to put a tier 5 on the Void Miner. And it's also a quest, so. Oh my. I just actually looked at- okay, so it takes this three of those. Refined glowstone, compressed obsidian, hardened glass. I have the, the, the rune of summer is the easiest part here. Ignit- what is ignits? Ardite, Terex, and Oswell. As if I don't have enough stuff sitting in my smeltery as it is. Yay. Okay, so, we may not be making the tier 5 solar panel quite yet. However, we do have a lot of tier 3 that we can do. We got some more stuff along the lines of white magic. We got black magic tier 2. I'm so close to, like, how much Peridot do I have? I have 50 of them. Let's go see what is actually- like, currently the Void Miner is uh, out of ethylene. Hence why uh, I'm working on solar panels. Wonder. Uh, Peridot. Look at that, we got some Peridot. Whole bunch of other stuff in there too, apparently. But not the super rare to get thing I need to upgrade. So that's always fun. Now, which machine gives me what I need? Smelting only gives me one. Crushing will give me two. Let's let's go to our actually additions crusher. If we run ourselves back inside. Actually stand on the elevator. So right there, we'll put those up there. I'm making sure I don't have anything else. Uh... Oh, look at that. I have a whole bunch of plastic made, apparently. A whole bunch of essence. So we are now a mere two Perido shy of completing tier one of ores, alloys, and smelters. <laughs> More of a challenge than I thought it was going to be. Make sure I don't have any. Okay, none in that chest. We have a stack of iron sitting in that chest that I need to be putting over here. That going. Take those out of there. Put them right there. I need to do a little remodeling with my mana spreaders, but I'm not too insanely worried about that right at the second. What do we got going for us in... <laughs> oh. Tritonite, Aurorium, Fractum. Do I have any Fractum? Probably not. No. Do I have any Fractum in my smeltery still? Because I know I've made it because I made some Dianite. Uh, I have two ingots of Fractum. That's not enough. <laughs> that is not enough ingots. We need food. Da, da, da. Let's have a sandwich. Let's have another sandwich. Whoops. Back up we go. Uh, okay, we finished that. That's right. 
I want to take another stack of rotten flesh. Get it going in there. Like, until I get the, the solar panels going, I'm going to have the two sources of power. Because I feel like it's just easier that way. I just don't know if it's working. Okay, well, it does... It does go down, so... Eventually, this is where I'm going to be putting a tier 6 solar panel. Eventually. Because my main power is all run by solar panel 4s, which I suppose I could hook that in there, but I have that built all the way over there, and I don't feel like running uh, flux ducts all the way over there. Whee. No, that's the not the right solar panel, so... I mean, it's not like I have any shortage of them. Hmm. We'll, uh, see how it goes. Yeah, do its thing. Okay, let's look at... Tier three at one of the actual... We need the Advanced Alloy Smelting Factory line, the Carbon Fiber line, and then the Chemical Combiner. That's, ah, that's a terrifying one. That's a very terrifying recipe. Carbon Fiber is pulverized coal and crushed diamond. That's... That's freaking easy. That's like... This might be one of the easiest things we do today. That's holy cow. Something that I will always have a ton of. I said crush diamond. Diamond does work too. Yes, it does. Look at that. Gives us four pulverized coal and a silver coin. Carbon mesh. Boom. Chameleon was stuck in the water. Threw me off for a second. Gives us an extra carbon mesh and a silver coin. Carbon plates. Put carbon mesh in a compressor to obtain carbon plates. We need three of those. Will it work in the compactor? Yes, it does. And ooh, it goes fast. That's I mean that's also because I do have my compressor or my compactor upgraded. That gives us a ruby. And a gold coin. Energy storage upgrade. This upgrade increases the maximum amount of energy a Tech Reborn machine can store. Do I even have any Tech Reborn machines? No, I don't. <laughs> I feel like that might come in handy eventually. Let's see. Okay, a machine blueprint. The Advanced Alloy Smelting Factory is a multi-block structure, four long, three high, and three wide. You can see the exact dimensions and required materials when using the blueprints for it. This advanced multi-block machine can create all kinds of alloys faster, more efficiently, and without having to melt the metals in their liquid form. 
Each operation consumes energy and a fuel of your choice. Valid are lava or blazing pyrothium. Lava is 200 millibuckets per operation. Pyrothium is 40 millibuckets per operation. Okay. Modularium and modular what? Wait, wait. I went the wrong way. I jumped. Not, not crowd. Okay, so I do have the right ingot. Look at that. There's the blueprint. There's that. Boom. Wham. Two glowstone ingots, a tier one graphics card, and two tier 1.5 memories and a heat conductor. I feel like those are going to help us on this adventure. Holy cow. That's... That's a lot. That's... A lot, a lot. How much of that modularium do I have? I don't think I have enough ingots of it this. So for right now, all this stuff goes right on back up there. Okay, we will come back to that. <laughs> Maybe. Eventually. Eventually we will. Like I said, we're going for 100% with this quest book, so. This uh, diamond chest contains 108 inventory slots. Alternatives to the diamond chest, which also have 108 inventory slots, are the crystal chest, which is transparent and allows the visualization of stored items, and the obsidian chest, which is completely blast resistant. Diamond plates and a gold chest. I can do this one easy. Sure, not in that. I'll have to reset my uh, pickaxe and hammer to that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Wait, yeah, compact. No, wait. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm doing that right. <laughs> I'm second guessing myself here. The diamond plate gonna be staring me right in the face. I already know it. There it is. Okay, compressor, the comp- okay, the compact does do that. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's right. I was using the pulverizer before. Okay. I, I really had myself psyched out for a second there, and I'm not entirely sure why, because contrary to what it seems sometimes, I do know what I'm doing. That's maybe not all the time, but most times I know what I'm doing. At least when it comes to Minecraft. As I've played more of this mod pack, I have gotten much more familiar with it. And the way it works. So there we go, we got our diamond plates. That's manual, Ninen, Terex, Glowstone, and Osmium. Okay. I'll see what I needed to make that eventually. And there's our diamond chest. Boom. Oh yeah. That gives us an epic loot bag, four intermedium essence, another gold chest, and a platinum coin. We find obsidian plates and a diamond chest. But I don't want to use my diamond chest. Epic backpack. I just realized that I have a whole bunch of stuff sitting in my backpack. That made me think of backpack. Okay, first off, uh, that, 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 that. I forgot I had a backpack. Okay, so all of this stuff. Is going into. Our, uh. the thing that we are standing in front of the uh, storage system that's the plate 
Let's got some bloody cobblestone. It. All that. All that. All that. That, that, that. That. I'll go up into there. And the rest of these are going elsewhere, but. have those on the back wall. I had I made a second drawer controller just for crops. Uh chicken 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 chicken. Oh look, that's prime chicken. It's not normal chicken. Okay and then let's We'll take our uh, Inferium related things on over to there. And we'll put our biofuel in our ethylene maker thingy. The PRC, the pressurized reaction chamber. Let's see how this is actually uh, holding up. It doesn't, I can't tell if it's gotten anything new. So we will just. So yeah, let that, let it make that ethylene. Walked into the wall. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen leather. And press diamond. Okay, so we're gonna make another diamond chest because I have a gold chest. So we will need one, two, three, four, eight for that. So I'll do five compressed diamond, and then I forgot how much leather exactly it was. So, okay, so this is our diamond plates. Let me make sure that I have that. We'll let our enrichment chamber make those. Get these plates made. Get this bigger backpack made. Never thought I'd actually get to the point where I could uh, make the uh, epic backpack. So I'm uh, kind of proud of myself for that, one, actually. I'm also proud of myself for sticking this mod pack out as long as I have. Like around the, I was when I was struggling with tier two there, I was kind of really unsure if this was actually going to be a thing that happened, but I stuck it out and here we are. So that, that, that. That big backpack. Yeah. Nice. What did we get for that? A uh, CPU core, five mana steel ingots, and a platinum coin. Let's do that, that, that. Put our backpack on. Oh yeah, look at that backpack. That's nice. Red Hook. Red Hook can reach its maximum range of 24 blocks in one second and pulls the player at a speed of 20 blocks per second. Up to four hooks can be active at once. The player can freely travel between the hooks, allowing them to effectively fly in a small area. Oh my. I just realized, like, do I even have... I have a diamond hook. And I don't even use it. 
kind of always forget that I have it. Oh yeah, that's right. We upgraded our jetpack. We got reinforced glass. We're going to need to make hardened. Plus, emeratic crystal. Do I have any of those? I do. Now the question is... So I can make it with the block of that. Block of Terra Steel. <laughs> how much how many how much Terra Steel do I still have remaining? Okay, I still got 14 blocks remaining. We're good. So let's see. Emerald. Does it let me? Okay, I have to use my factorizer for that. Um Blood Infused Glowstone. Redstone and blood iron ingot. One of those. One, two, three, and then it was what? Redstone? The block of redstone? Let's go out to. Actually, we have to go to the factorizer first. And then we have to take that off of there. get our crystal block now we can run out to our empower -er -er -er. yeah look at that go look at it still go There we go. So we have... That'll give us some... to work with. And we'll put... those in there. Do, 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 do. Let's run back inside. Okay, so... for this... We're gonna need the Ignits. Osram, Terex, and Ardite. So one Osram, two Terex, two Ardite. So I have a bunch of Osram in there. What's that? Do five of those and so if my math is correct hopefully this will give us uh with the osram that's in there it'll give us uh the ignits and it will give us a block of it hopefully We can uh, hope. I'm, I'm anxiously awaiting to see if I actually did this correctly and did my math right. Might as well go compress some obsidian. Do I have obsidian seeds? Should have obsidian seeds. Thirty-two. Yeah. How many city and I'm going to need? Technically, I think I only needed like 18 obsidian to get two, well, one, one time compressed obsidian, but it always helps to have some obsidian on hand. Okay. We got five ingots. Any more Ardite and Terex. Of course I do. Oh, 
four of those. So that plus add nine. So this should give us the one block that we need. Um, let's go check on the alumite. If I could get into the house. Okay, I have two half two mite plates and one alumite ingot, so that's what? Aluminum, iron, and obsidian. Okay. There's some aluminum. Oh my god, it takes so much. Oh, it takes so much. So much alum aluminum. Let's do that. I have obsidian on me. What am I searching obsidian for? Literally sitting right there. There we go. I got one block of ignit. Okay, so let's do all that. That aluminum went fast. <laughs> what else are we going to need? We're going to need those. We'll need our solar panel to four. Rune of Summer, the Blazing Electron to and a tube. I may have one of those still. I was going to say, did something eat my iron ore? Or my iron... Like, molten iron? But it hadn't finished melting yet. Okay, so we should be getting... I can get at least a block of the alumite. We'll be good. I how long obsidian takes to, uh... Get through the smeltery. You can do it. Well. I guess I need to put some more obsidian in there. We'll just do that and we'll come back. We'll go make our uh compressed obsidian. I just realized we're gonna hold on, so if we need five of those, it means we need ten. Okay. We now have enough compressed obsidian to make five of those. Uh, hardened glass. I just want, like, straight up plain hardened glass. I don't need all this extra stuff. Okay, it's the vanadium and pulverized obsidian, or obsidiorite and obsidian, or dianite. In the alloy smelter, or the induction smelter. So, obsidiorite. So, one vanadium, eight pulverized obsidian. I'll let that go. I should have a ton of vanadium, yeah. That. Uh, 
induction smelter. Makes what two per? Yeah. And make one, two, three. We'll need fifteen of those. I'm gonna need more obsidian. Do I have obsidian like? We'll do it that way. There we go. Good. Done. Let that do that. We're gonna go check on that alumite process to wrap up this episode. There we go. We'll just go ahead and get our block of alumite going. And we will continue working towards that tier 5 solar panel to use with our... Uh, I mean, technically I'd like to use a tier 6 because it generates more. This generates just under what I need. But this one. Ooh. Platinum plates, empowered... Ancient dust, central processing unit, tier 2 calculation. Okay, so I need... Okay. Okay, we're gonna... Next episode, we're gonna do Tier 5 and Tier 6 solar panels. That's... I'm calling that right now. So, um, until then, thank you guys for every single ounce of support. Um, I am currently trying to, uh, pay back my mom and stepdad for a new motherboard. So, if you see that link down in the bottom left, it says support me at ko-fi.com slash sickygames. If you can donate anything to help me get the remainder needed to pay off for the motherboard that they got me so I could keep making these videos for you, that would be 100% absolutely appreciated, but it is not necessary. Every single like, comment, subscribe, view, everything that you guys do to support me is absolutely amazing, and I appreciate you so much, and I will see you guys next time. Deuces.